Hey guys, Assalamu Alaikum, it's me Talha. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of Enscape 3.0. Let's get started. So first, to download the trial version, you can go to Enscape3D.com or just click the link in the description. And here, just click get my free trial and just fill up this form and you will get the download link. Once you install the Enscape, you will be able to see the new tab here. And here, as you can see, some of the controls are missing here. The reason for that is in the new Enscape 3.0, some of these controls have been moved to the Enscape window. Now we only have the most necessary controls here, such as start button, asset library, and feedback, as well as the general settings. Now let's start the Enscape. So when you first start the Enscape, you will see the help window here that shows you all the controls of Enscape. And on the left side, we have all the controls related to the project. And on the right side, we have the controls related to the visualization. Now to hide this toolbar, you can just click this arrow in the middle. And of course, just click this arrow to display the settings again. Now let's see what controls we have uh, on the left side. The first one is collaborative annotation. And then we have BIM mode and then view management and if you notice here we have a new button to create a new camera view we don't need to go back to Revit to create a new camera view in Enscape 3.0 we can create a new camera view inside the Enscape here and of course it will create a camera view in the Revit project file as well now here as you can see we have the views which have already been created in the project and then we have the favorites now we have a newly designed video editor. Let's quickly create a couple of keyframes here. To create a new keyframe, you just need to click this plus button. And let's move the camera. And click the plus button again to create another keyframe. Now if I scroll down here, you will see the duration settings and in Enscape 3.0 we can manually put the total duration let's say I want this clip to be 10 seconds press enter and if I scroll down here we have the other camera options as well now let's go here and click play Perfect. Now to save this camera path, we can just click this drop down and select save path to file. We'll just call it clip 1. And to load a new camera path, we can just click this drop down again. And here we have load path from file. And to export the video, we can use this export button here. Now let's see what other export options we got at the top here. The first one is screenshot, panorama, and exe and web standalone. Now to close this window on the left side, you can either press escape key on your keyboard or just click this home button. There you go. Now let's see what we have on this side. The first one is mini map. And second one is save frame. This shows you the region which is going to be rendered. And then we have the view modes such as perspective, two point and orthographic. And then we have the navigation modes, fly mode and walk mode. And then we have VR and then visual settings. And then we have the renderer window settings. Here you can use custom icon as well as a custom loading screen and we have some other settings here as well and the last one is help panel and if you notice here we have another tab here here it gives you the additional information related to the tools which are selected here so let's select this collaborative annotation and as you can see it's showing the additional information about the tool which can be very helpful for the new Enscape users now let's close both these windows and open up the visual settings and as you can see this visual settings dialog box also have been redesigned we now have a new graphics as well as we have a separate 
a new tab here for sky settings and if you notice here we have this little button if i click it it will open up the presets menu and as you can see these two presets i have created earlier now i will show you how you can create a new preset and link that preset to a, uh, to a certain uh, camera view let's do that first i will just minimize these visual settings i don't want to create a new rendering from this angle so i will just press zero on the keyboard to return back the camera now let's go to view management and create a new camera view let's call it night then create and as you can see it's asking us to link a visual preset which we are not going to do that right now we will do that in a moment so first let's go back and create a new preset so open up the visual settings again and create a new preset let's call it night view and just press enter and before doing any changes here let's go back to Revit to change the time and you can see we have this night uh, camera view which we have just created let's go here and then graphic display options and then lighting and click the sun settings and then still let's change the time to 7 pm click apply ok and let's go back to Enscape and select the night view and as you can see it did not change that much here the reason for that is the HDRI which I loaded earlier so let's remove that just open up the visual settings again and then first I will just uh, hide the presets menu and then go to sky and as you can see this HDRI is loaded here so let's remove that just select clear from this drop down and there you go we now have the night scene here now let's do some changes to the settings so first I will just go to atmosphere and reduce the artificial light brightness perfect let's go to image and reduce the highlights a bit now let's go to main settings and increase the exposure and I think we need to reduce the highlights a bit more and increase the shadows perfect now let's link this night view preset to the camera view here so let's minimize the visual settings first and then we can just click edit and then from this drop down select the night view and save now if I select another view here you can see it's changing the preset as well this can be very helpful when you are giving the presentations you can easily switch between the views so this was a quick overview of Enscape 3.0 let me know what you guys think about this new version of Enscape in the comments below and besides these new features Enscape 3.0 also has 300 new local assets such as vehicles and vegetation which are focused on different regions of the world so you can create more authentic regional experience with your designs i'm going to be uploading a revit and enscape 3.0 workflow tutorial soon till then you can check out the enscape tutorials playlist on my channel the link for that is in the description so that's it i will see you guys very soon